Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a Squid Game inspired set on my left hand. And I already had some acrylic on, so I'm just cleaning up around my cuticles with my mandrel bit. I had taken my previous set off. Um, I'm just doing this so I can make sure it's nice and flush and as smooth as possible. And then you guys will see me take a buffer and just go over my whole nail. This is pretty much just a nail art video in a sense because... On every nail, I am kind of doing some nail art, but I just wanted to let you guys know, obviously, I'm not the best at nail art, and that's why I want to practice. So I thought, I watched the show, and I really enjoyed it, and I thought I could make this into a nail set, so I just decided to go ahead and do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I might pop in here a few times and just let you guys know what I'm doing or my thought process throughout this, because there were a lot of times that I did make some mistakes, and I had to start over, but... That's okay, that's just me practicing, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch. So after I have cleansed off all the dust from my nails, I do go ahead and put base coat on my middle finger and my ring finger because these are the, the first two nails that I am going to work on. I do this in sections because each nail is a little bit different. Um, so I'm just putting some base coat on, letting that cure, and then I'm going to be putting two coats of white on my ring finger and two coats of this yellow on my middle finger. And um, for the white, I'm going to be doing the red light, green light. I'm not the best so they came out a little bit weird but that's okay and then on my middle I'm doing the yellow background with some blue little clouds and some white accent you guys will see how I do that once I get to that part also forgot to mention on all of my nails before I start the nail art and after I've put on my two coats of whatever color I'm using I do put top coat on and cure it just in case I do mess up which I do end up wiping it off but having the top coat on under that nail art will just help you take it off easier if you need to so that's why I do put on top coat on top of it and then I will re top coat it again once the design is all complete. So while attempting to draw on the red light and green light designs, I pretty much just started by trying to draw one red circle and then one green circle. And then I go ahead and I outline both of those in black. 
and as you guys will see in my upcoming next video which is going to be a halloween video of me doing a set i did get some new nail art brushes and you guys will see that unboxing and those nail art brushes are so much better than the ones i used in this video i absolutely hate the ones i used in this video because they were horrible but that's what i had at the time so i'm so excited to finally have those new ones and i definitely am going to be practicing way more with nail art just because i have those better brushes and i feel like they'll make it a lot easier for me and it will actually make me want to do more nail art but like i was saying i did have to wipe off so many times throughout this whole nail set i'm not going to keep repeating myself but i did have to wipe off a lot like i think i wiped off this outline of black around the green circle like two or three times whether i kept that in the video or not i wiped it off a lot um but you know that's the whole point of practicing and I'm not going to give up just because I can't get it right the first time. You just got to keep doing it, keep doing it until you like it. So that's just what happened with me and this set. So as you guys can see, as I'm drawing on the clouds, I do put my hand in my light for just like a quick little 15 second, 10 second cure in between drawing a few of them because I realized as I was doing them, I kept having to wipe them off because they wouldn't keep that cloud like shape. So by drawing like one or two and like flash curing them, it really helped to keep the shape how I wanted it. So if you guys... Um, ever have to draw clouds with gel polish that's just my little tip so as you guys can see i did my index finger um i did it a light pink and then on my pinky i did a blue i did do the square on my index finger off camera just because i couldn't keep it in frame and trying to get the lines as straight as i could it was just it was not working so um i kept in this clip of me doing the triangle again this was really hard because of those nail art brushes but i wiped it off a few times and then once i got it to where i liked it i cured it and then we're gonna move on to the thumb So my original plan for the thumb was to do a red background with a white S on it for Squid Game, but I didn't like how the red was looking and I didn't have confidence in myself to actually draw an S and you guys will see in this clip I dropped some red polish on my little mat and that just happens because, you know, I try to pour it or I try to put it on my little uh, thing that I have all my polishes on and it just fell. But anyways, I ended up doing white and then I was just trying to do some like blood splatter type looking. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to, but this was the best I could do in the amount of time that I had. So 
you know, I just had to work with what I could do. And I actually liked it in the end, but it just wasn't what I had envisioned. So I didn't get an end clip of me putting on any cuticle oil, but this is how the nails turned out. They're not the best. Again, like I said, I'm not the most perfect at doing nail art, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video, which is going to be a Halloween one. So stay tuned.